everyone, my name is Ivana Proyens and today we're going to talk about Meteorite Cleaning of CS50 Introduction to uh, Databases with SQL. This exercise is about week 3 that we're learning how to write into tables, so how we insert rows, how can we update the content and also other things we could do, but this exercise will ask us to use the things we've been doing so far. So the idea of this exercise will be the following. We're gonna receive a CSV file like this meteorites.csv that contains name, ID, name, time, class, mass, discovery, year, lat for latitude and long for longitude. And pretty much we're gonna read the CSV file and we're gonna store the data in our database. So instead of storing in a CSV file, we're gonna put everything in a table using SQL. This is pretty much what the teacher did in the lecture and now we're gonna work with this idea here. But we're gonna create a table from scratch, we're gonna uh, kind of clean the data, so everything that will be empty we're gonna convert to no. Everything here that has more than two decimal places we're gonna convert to only two decimal places and so on, all right? As we learned in the lecture, if we wanna store the information from, C uh, from CSV to SQL, we need to create a template temporary table. So in this table we can manipulate the data, clean everything, and then we put in the table that we really want, all right? So to do that, before we start, remember to download the distribution code, follow these steps, so you will find a folder like mine with import.sql and meteorites.csv. We're gonna write all the SQL commands in here and we're gonna do step by step to solve the problem. Basically, we're gonna have as output a table called meteorites that contains the ID, name, class, mass, discovery, year, latitude and longitude. All of those columns, if we take a look in our meteorites.csv, will be our text, like name, name type, class, and discovery. There will be text, as we can see here in this column, all right? Or it will be an integer like an ID or an ear. A ear usually is an integer, not a float. And it will be floats, like mass, or latitude and longitude. So we're gonna create a table to contain these columns here, all right? So before we start creating the output table, we're gonna create our temporary table to clean up the data, okay? So I'm gonna create a temporary table where I follow this name of the columns here, okay? So I'm gonna say create table, meteorites temp, let's suppose I wanna give this name. And I'm gonna put here the name of all columns that we have. So let me give some spaces and then we play around. So we have this in here. Name will be type text. ID, we know that it's an integer. Name type, as we can see here, it's a text. Class here will be a text. Mass will be a real, which means a float. And a float means that it can contain a, it can contain decimal points. Discovery will be a text. Year will be an integer. Latitude will be a real because it can contain decimal places and longitude will be real. Besides that, I wanna say that my primary key is the column ID. Okay, and that's pretty much what we need to do. So before we start, let me show you, we need to build our database. So I'm gonna write SQLite 3 and the name of our database that is meteorites.db. Here I'm gonna create, yes, I'm sure. And if I copy this command and paste in here and I do dot schema, it will create for us the table we just built. Okay, so we have the table in here, great. Now we need to run a command to import the content we have in our CSV to the table, all right? And to do that, as we saw in the lecture, we can use this command, dot import dash dash CSV dash dash. Here, I want to use the skip one because in our CSV file, I want to skip the first line because the first line only contains the name of the headers. I don't want to store this. So I want to start from line one. That's why we're going to do this skip one, the name of our CSV file and the name of our table. All right, so let's do the changes in here. I'm going to do skip one the name of our CSV file it's meteorites and the name of our table it's meteorites dot underline temp because we're creating a temporary variable all right I'm gonna run this command here in SQL and we will see that let me open up the database so if I do select star from meteorites temp we're gonna have now the content of everything we have in our CSV file but now in our table okay it takes a little bit of time to load because we have a lot of content but we can see here that it's pretty much running all right now let's work with cleaning the data so to do that we need to first any empty values in meteorites.csv are represented by no in the meteorites table. And we need to keep in mind that the mass, year, latitude, and longitude columns have empty values in the CSV. So I'm gonna show you how we represent, how are we representing the empty values. 
Since we're working with reals and integers, the empty value won't be an empty string because we're not work storing the, the data in a text column. We're storing in numbers. So if I show you here, select the star from meteorite stem, where mass is equal to zero. So zero here will represent all the mass that all the lines that contains mass as no, as empty values. And since SQL don't have the information for an empty value, it already implemented as zero. Okay, so we're gonna update every line we have with this column here that has the value zero. To do that, we're gonna say update the name of our table, so meteorites temp. We're gonna set, and the name of our column that is mass will be equals to no, remember capital no, and what will be our condition where mass right now is equal to zero. Okay, so let's update and see if we're able to 